Welcome to Ask Allie with multi-award winning dog trainer, Allie Smith, answering real dog questions from real dog parents. So next question, which is the second of the pre preloaded questions, <laughs> comes from Kaikos from the Turks. And the question is, what would be my process of introducing a fear reactive dog to a new person in their home? And this is actually like really, this resonates with me really strongly because I had a, I had a reactive dog that I had to introduce to my now husband in my little two bedroom flat. And I was paranoid and please don't get me wrong, Indy's actually never had an issue with humans never had an issue with humans but i'd also never moved a human into his home i totally sympathize with you here the first thing i would do is obviously prep your partner or whoever it is that's moving into your home about your dog and just let them know that they do have some quirks some special things some and if there's any particular sore spots that you know with just visitors i would tackle that and tell your guest or your um roommate whoever they are just exactly what's potentially going to be the biggest areas of issue just so that we can go in well prepared i would then if they're not already i would make sure that your dog is muzzle trained again this is just an in case because the one of the worst things that your dog can do unfortunately is to bite a human and regardless of who that person is in your life we just do not take these risks because it's not necessary okay so muzzle train just in case i would then <laughs> explain awkwardly to your your friend partner whoever they are that <sighs> you need some a piece of their dirty clothes or a part of their laundry and I would just leave it around your house because that then will start introducing the idea that there might be another human living here, that there might be a new smell coming into the into their world. And it starts just saying that this is a part of your environment, okay? Um, as softly as we can. I would then ask your the person that's moving in to join you on some walks, join you on some activities, and see if you can get, even if you want to hire like a private field or something, just somewhere that's neutral, outside, like not your dog's safe space. We want somewhere that's like really chilled, hopefully. And then you're just going to encourage the two of them to bond. If they can start playing together, that's fantastic because you cannot be it's something that's actually like an incompatibility you can't be having fun and be scared at the same time dogs don't have the roller coaster thing that we do they can't feel like i like to refer to them as like complex or compound emotions so like that fear excitement that you get when you go on a roller coaster dogs can't do that which is awesome that we can exploit that sounds really wicked i don't mean it like that i don't mean exploit but take advantage of so yeah do that and then if you can and if the meeting when you're out is gone go home with said person and have them in your space for an extra hour sit down and have dinner together see if you can get your dog to relax and if you can you've nailed it okay and then when they move in everything will go swimmingly if you don't get the opportunity to do that amount of training beforehand because sometimes i realize these things don't go how we want them to go do they it's it is possible to do. It's just going to be a case that you're going to want to introduce more management. Things like baby gates, play pens, crates, leashes, all very powerful management tools that you can use around the home just to ensure that pup doesn't make a mistake because there's nothing worse than knowing that you could have done something to avoid it and you didn't. So I'll always preach a little extra caution when it comes to a dog biting a human. So please just be careful. Do you want Allie to answer your questions? Email woof at rebarkable.com and make sure to subscribe.